This time on Sailing Miss Lone Star, I pushed the limits for both this sailboat and overcoming a deeply rooted fear. We also scratch an itch to explore on an abandoned island resort. I'm Aubrey. I've been living on a small boat for about six years. I recently bought a pirate ship. And right now she's waiting for mass and rigging in Washington. So in order to earn a few bucks to pay for the project, we've taken on a boat flip. It's a 1996 37 Hunter. Thank you so much to our patrons for making these videos possible. Another great way to support us is to hit the subscribe button. Oh, we have really enjoyed Crab Key and we are off to the next island. So 12 noon, anchors up. We're gonna sail about nine miles, not too far, but there's tons of stuff to see around here. So let's get crack a -lackin'. You ready to go, handsome man? Yep. Let's do it. Today we are going to tow the dinghy because we're only going nine miles and it's super calm. The moment the anchor is free from its holding, I get a little rush. No matter how close or far the destination, the adventure is unpredictable. going two knots. There's a dark cloud behind us and I can feel the atmosphere kind of sucking towards the storm and it's getting a little bit cooler. So my human barometer says we might have a little squall. 10 feet where we are so it could just drop the anchor at any stage. Yeah. <laughs> That's what's nice about the Bahamas is that you know it's a nice thing and not such a nice thing that it is really shallow through here so you can just drop the anchor the whole the whole of bahamas is basically an anchorage um, the bad thing is is that if you draft a lot or if you have a long keel um, some places are not as accessible but as long as you have a decent dinghy you can kind of get in everywhere so we've really enjoyed it and we've just been in the north of the bahamas and when we come back we'll do the south so yeah how are you enjoying it, Squirrel? I'm enjoying it thoroughly. I double check the charts and the weather forecast for good measure. The wind kisses my cheeks, and I begin to daydream about my beautiful Formosa waiting for me in the Puget Sound. I have commissioned a crow's nest. I hope to know what it's like to be a bird, even if I have to close my eyes. Woo -wee! So this is the closest to a bird's eye view. My whole life, I've been seeking joy. The kind of happiness that floods your chest. And out here, I don't have to look far. This makes the word thankful feel like such a small word.
I've learned out here are punctuated with a growing trust in myself that can only be gained through hard lessons learned. So we just threw a reef in the main and the head sail because although it's only blowing like 13 to 15 knots, like I said earlier, there's a system behind us and it's kind of gaining on us. So I'd rather be safe than sorry. So we threw some reefs in because it seems like these systems just come up on you so quickly. So better to be prepared and be there a little bit later than get our asses kicked. <laughs> but it's a beautiful day, stunning sailing. I am getting a lot of sun without our bimini top, so um, my poor little Irish Rumpasaurus Rex is burning. So I just popped under the Dodger. I am so grateful <laughs> that we didn't lose our Dodger. That's definitely the silver lining and the bonus here. We have put both the first and the second reef into the mainsail. For as much as I love a good heel, overpowering is a fabulous way to break things. Comes. Oh shit. You beast! Out of the way. <laughs> they got squirrel on that the- That Detroit is so loud! <laughs> Man, got... that engine is ridiculous. It's the sails! <laughs> We're about to anchor! Yay! With our friend, Cameron. There he is! And hey, look, look at us! It's proportionate. We also got the same amount to drag you do. It's a cute little tender you got there. <laughs> we have entered into a friendly, unofficial regatta with Gadabout, the 85-foot Don Brooks. She is not a light wind kind of girl, and despite her being almost three times our length, we're going to call this race a win. Are you sure you don't want to fly it to me and I'll catch it? Oh! <laughs> you want to catch it, babe? I can. Uh... Woo wee! Look at you! Good job! Ooh, I'm proud of you. Good job. Is your, is your little thumper like... That's stressful. Thump, 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 thump. thump. We are going to bring in our sails and anchor as well. Ready when you are? This by far has been my favorite episode to create, and there is 45 minutes extended and uncensored on Vimeo. Check the link below. Sailing is the ultimate test in learning to sit with yourself. In the quiet of a morning watch, the voice within becomes more clear, and it's impossible to hide from our fears and our demons. comfortable, hugged tightly in a thick, restricting wetsuit, protected from all the things that belong in the water far more than I do. To be naked is the ultimate vulnerability, and at the same time, the ultimate freedom. 
through all of the challenges we face living like this, away from creature comforts. The quest to sit with self is the reason I stay, to become a person that can sit still without the clawing desire to hide away from the things that challenge me. We have heard rumors amongst the cruisers that there is a James Bond hideaway here, a secret abandoned island with a man-made ravine leading to a labyrinth of jungled pathways spilling into private beaches. Off to This place has an air of opulence, which makes it that much more strange that we're here alone. There's a couple of paths. I'm a little nervous. The island is so quiet. There isn't a soul. I would almost feel better if someone popped out and asked us to leave. Woo! I saw that. But what's that like growling noise? That's it's cutting through the air like a peregrine falcon. As I said, heart. There is no one here, it is so nice. There's a house behind me, and I feel like someone's gonna pop out of it at any moment, but we've been here for a couple hours and no one's there. It's beautiful, everything's opened inside. We heard it's abandoned, but it's so nice. I have a hard time believing that. You see a beautiful deserted island. I see the beginning of every horror movie I can remember watching. But like any good Hitchcock, we're ignoring the voice of reason and entering the dark shed. This is a lot of batteries and like things for no one to be Check here. Check if all Don't... of them are expanded. Oh boy, that looks really dangerous. This could like blow up at any moment, huh? 2003. I would. Well, let's get out of here. Huh. This is crazy.
As we get back into our dinghy, I daydream about Swiss Family Robinsons, and I decide if I ever had to be shipwrecked, this would be the island of choice. You can see where they blew it out with dynamite. Spanish Key. We were warned not to miss this little island because it's a true gem. But after meeting one of the local inhabitants in particular, I think maybe we should have skipped it. Yeah, I'm like, Ooh. oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. This is a private island, and only marina guests are allowed to peruse around, but they've allowed us to have a look, which is really nice. It's so beautiful. We showed up a little late today. It uh, It's about four o'clock, and it seems that everything around the islands sort of shuts down around four. It's island time, baby. So here's another hurricane damage boat. This is... And he wants how much for it? He wants 80. Florida. We'll have to come here next time with a big boat. If you rent a slip, then you're allowed to explore the island. It's really pretty. So, if we chose to stay here... Okay, so we are currently right up in there. And we want to go around, up, past Hog, to this hurricane hole, and inside here, this is Allen's key get real protection from all sides for as cute as this little island is i could have skipped seeing the massive what looks to be a bull shark cruising around looking for dinner like a blonde in a black and white bikini maybe he's a vegetarian we'll go with that man those bull sharks are big there are some very large bull sharks here and they look hungry, in my humble opinion. I think we'll definitely be back here. The, um, the water's now flattened out quite nicely and we're headed back over to the Hunter. It's been a really pretty day. I've been creating a daily vlog for over three years, exclusively on Vimeo. Details in the description below. Well, I think this means we have officially made it. Don't spill my beer! Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please hit the like button and subscribe. Lots of love to our patrons for making these videos possible. You just ate the penis of the Kong. I just ate the penis. No, you definitely.